Come on now, people. I've been telling you for almost two years now, you need to have a GNR TV. And now sports are back. Football is back. Now is the perfect time for you to get this if you don't have it already. And if you look on over here, as I've been telling you before, you get all these amazing channels, every single one of them, for $20 a month for two devices. And if you look on up over here, it's written. It's written everything you get with GNR TV. If you want four devices, $40. And there's some cool extras right here. GNR TV, streaming done right. If you don't have it, get it. What more can I say? What more can I say? It's time to cut the damn cord, stop being ripped off by the dish and cable, and get this lovely thing we call GNR TV. Streaming done right. Let's get slicing and dicing with Sir Sturdy Horror fans. On this podcast, you will hear me and a guest do some movie reviews, random funny horror chats, and whatever else comes to mind. So tune in, kick back, relax, and always remember, I'll see you in your nightmares. Well, this station's mask. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another exciting episode of Horror Research 30. Today I have my guest, Joe, from Any Last Words Podcast. How are you doing, Joe? I'm good. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. And we're finally doing Remy's Demons, directed by yes. Wrestler. We both had him on our shows. Mm-hmm. You had him on your live show, right? I did. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Because I did chime in on that a little bit. And I had him on my show, I think, like a week before. A week or two before. I don't remember. Okay. I did tell him we were going to be reviewing this movie. And so I watched it today, finally, tonight. And I enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm just going to jump right to the end really quick. The one thing that bothered me was just the look of the fire. It just, that's one thing in movies, in any, I don't care what, what type of movie it is, if the fire doesn't look good and look real, that bothered mm-hmm. me. It doesn't ruin the whole movie, especially for this one. But I was just like, ah, oh. I was like, that's one thing I had. I do have to be honest and complain about the way the fire looked. Okay. I think I even mentioned it to you. Excuse me. You did. I was just in the middle of cooking when I heard it. I just kind of giggled and put it down real quick. I was like, ah, I gotta hurry. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Oh, no, but I do. I I did like the movie. Um, um, I'm trying to think what what part it was that, you know, I may have really not cared for. I know who I didn't care for in the movie was the aunt. The aunt kind of, I wanted (laughs) to smack her so hard so many times. Her and I knew his his boy was shady from just from jump. I was like, all right, I don't trust this guy at all. Mm-hmm. They were just I don't know what it was about him, but the very first time they showed him, I was like, I'm not feeling this dude at all. He, he was real pushy. You know what I mean? He's like, oh, when are we going to do it? When are we going to do it? And then he ends up like later on because he didn't get his way, like trying to show up at the house, like all sly and shit and be like, oh, well, I left something in his room. Can I just go get it? And she's like, no, you cannot <laughs> like <laughs> get the hell out of here. Yeah. And that that there, there's that part, and then later on we're gonna be jumping around people. This is how the podcast. <laughs> but when he goes, when he actually goes in the room and steals it, I'm like, I would feel if somebody's in my room. Like you just walk up, you can just walk up in my room and grab something from the top of my bed without me noticing. Mm-hmm. I would definitely feel that, and probably, I don't know, I'd be confused at first, but then I'd probably attack at like right after, like wake up, <laughs> and then I'd go after him. But he was just knocked. He was just knocked out. Knock the hell out! I know. Down was kind of like you don't even look comfortable. You you (laughs) really woke up, which I see what you did with the lights in the background. I see you got inspired. Oh yeah, no, I actually have had those up. It's just it's a different (laughs) camera and different lighting, so they pop out a little bit more today. They look look purple. They are purple. Oh, just I got my little my little Freddy on his little light up stand back there. You can't see either. So, (laughs) well, in my story, her lights are purple because these lights are purple over here. Mm. I liked her room. It gave me like a, I don't know. I felt like that room was, you know what? I will say that. That is one thing that kind of got me was that I liked the room. I liked the the mom's room, I guess. Um, mm. It was real pretty. It was real cute, but I don't think it really fit her or really went with her, mm. if that makes sense. Like I felt it was a very young, more modern looking room and she's a, a witch, I guess. Um, 
Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. A witch of some sort. She's older. She, you know, um, it doesn't really have much of a, um, I don't want to say like an occultish kind of feel, but you know, something more like that. I'm not saying she needs to have like, you know, upside down crosses and shit in there, but. <laughs> no, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. And one thing I noticed about the lighting in this movie is for the most part, when his mother was alive, every room that she was in, the lights were purple, including mm-hmm. when they were sitting at the dinner table. After she passed, I know the lights were orange at some point. I know they were light orange in her his room. And mm-hmm. then all of a sudden the lights start were green. Like the kitchen light was or the dining room table light was green. Mm-hmm. And I think I don't know if it was Remy's room when he first come out, that light in the hall, or the mother's room when he first come out. Because all the rumors aren't coming out of a door. And that light mm-hmm. that's green. And I remember mentioning it to Colin, but I forgot what he said now. Damn. I remember he said hmm. average. But the lights changed quite a few times. You know what? I don't think I noticed that a whole lot. I don't think I noticed the green lights at least. Mm-hmm. Okay, but I did. I did, ex, you know, uh, distinctively remember the purple. There was a lot of purple in there because I remembered like thinking, "Oh, she's a witch," and that color is associated with like a certain deal or whatever. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> but I get what you mean, though. I get what you mean, and I get what you mean too with the lights. Like her room should have been. Her, her room should have looked darker, I guess, because. The purple lights, they don't really make me feel like, I don't know. It doesn't feel like a dangerous, powerful woman too much. No. It feels more like a 24-year-old Instagram model lives in that room. <laughs> I don't know. Or even like, you can even go to as far as saying like goth maybe. Maybe with okay. the, someone younger-ish. I don't know. I don't know anything about goth. So goth people don't, <laughs> don't hate me for that. I'm just kind of <laughs> throwing something in there. Right. Because it's a black light, so which a black light is not purple, but that's that's different. That's besides. <laughs> but I I did like the lighting in this movie. I like that. I love the freaking cinematography in this movie. I thought they did really good with that. Absolutely. And the connection between Remy and his female friend, I mm-hmm. forgot her name. I forget her name too. I liked. I thought she was funny though. <laughs> she was. She was. She had like. She just had like this some sort of personality, but it connected with him and clicked with him. And you can tell at everybody in the movie, including his mother, he was the most comfortable. Like when he, after he met her, he was the most comfortable around her and like more opening up to be himself. It's, it seemed. Oh, absolutely. There was a lot of, um, a lot of interactions that they had together. That they, basically, I think all of their interactions were really positive. And mm-hmm. um, throughout the movie, like you said, like he got comfortable with her and she did seem to bring out more of his, light i guess as you could say like his livelihood his life his light like they're dance going out and dancing and you know catching her doing karate in the cemetery <laughs> i laughed i laughed i thought that was so cute <laughs> that and then when he first had his little beer and like the face he was rubbing his nose and making yeah she's like you've never drank before i think no so like, <laughs> and started dancing mm-hmm. but yeah i liked how she kind of brought that out of him though a lot and even turned him into a man. I don't mean that in the way you guys are thinking, people. I mean, as far as when the one dude was attacking her, he finally, mm-hmm. like, grew a pair and stood up and did something about it instead of just kind of brushing everything off or just kind of, like, hiding from it and just not really expressing himself. With it. After that, he was just like, all right, I'm, I'm tired of this, pretty much. Like, yeah. And he did. Yeah, she opened – I think she opened him up more to the world than what his mother did because his mother was just like – you know, we stay here and we summon demons to f- <laughs> fetch me the eggshells, boy. <laughs> much. Like his mother really, she like really not only sheltered him, but she heard him in the fact of like, don't worry about anything. Everything's going to be taken care of. Don't worry. You know, don't mm-hmm. worry about me. Don't worry about the house. And then his aunt comes in trying to sell the house, which I mean, you kind of get why later in the movie. Because mm-hmm. which the aunt, she was... She was up and down because at first she was like a character you went and hated immediately, like the one guy. Yeah. And then once you kind of seen how she knew what was going on, maybe it's something in the family that's been going on for years and she was just tired of it because she was like, going to burn the house down. And mm-hmm. at first she's real bitchy because she's talking about getting rid of everything, selling everything. And it's just like, you just fucking came here. And now you're talking about selling all your sisters and your nephew's shit just and it's like, are you just trying to make a buck or what? But then I guess you see why after. Mm-hmm. Which, 
would have been cool in a sense only for a sequel as far as if they sold the house and somebody else buys the house and maybe something's still in there mm-hmm. maybe and maybe he has to come back to save the day but he doesn't really realize it till later okay right. colin i could be wrong i'm just throwing some ideas out there yeah because she was a because there was a part in the movie where um she was kind of dealing with her own shit because like like he had, uh, Colin had said, like, if you notice, there's like everybody kind of goes through their own thing yeah. in the movie. And when he said that, I was like, you're absolutely right. Like, I realized everybody did have like a theme issue, if you will. Like the mother had issues with being able to let go. Like she was really just trying to hold on to whatever she could to keep herself alive and not just give up um, when she really just needed to let go. So her issue was to let go. And then the, the um, her sister was just an alcoholic. It's what it just kind of seemed like. She just like the look, look, look. And um, what I thought was cool is like um, when, you know, she's having like her little breakdown or whatever, and she's like really drinking and she's at the table. I think that's when you were talking about it turned green or something. Cause she was drinking and she's sitting at the table and she looks across and she sees like a spirit. Mm-hmm. And that's when everything kind of gets all like, ah, a little bit for her. Um, but I, I can totally see like, that could have gone off into something else because she was able to see things too. I wonder if she was a witch too, or if she was just like, like a medium of some sort, maybe. It seemed like it. I mean, even though she did call a paranormal investigator earlier in the movie, mm-hmm. but like later on in the movie, cause she was like, this stuff needs to, she's pretty much said this stuff needs to stop. And she was trying to tell Remy the truth, truth about his mother. Mm-hmm. And I'm just, it makes me think more. So even more, cause remember how, Early in the movie, he comes to his mom. I don't know how what made the conversation come up, but he brings up his father, and she's like, "Don't say that man's name." Oh yeah. Ever. And then when he goes to that area with the with the <laughs> friend, he's talking about his father and how they used to play tag. Mm-hmm. This, that, and the third, and then they play. You know, they, she says tag area. They play tag for a little bit. And you just see him run and chase her. Mm-hmm. But I'm wondering what happened to his dad. Like. His mother obviously had something to do with it, and I'm wondering how bad of a guy he really was. Mm-hmm. Like, was he going to tell Remy the truth and kind of get him out of his mother's grasp, so to speak, or was he really a bad guy? Like, you, you really don't know. I, I have a feeling he wasn't really that bad of a guy just because of Remy's memories of him, and I feel his mother was trying to, again, because she was controlling him every other way, so maybe that mm-hmm. was the last thing. Like, listen, your dad's he's, he's garbage, pretty much. Yeah, and I can I can see that, especially like if she's like into the occult stuff, and he's like, maybe like, dude, I don't believe in that shit. That's crazy. Um, you know what? I'm not feeling that. That's a hard pass for me, and I'm gonna take the boy with me. And she's like, uh, uh-uh. uh, like, Literally. spirit's gonna get rid of you now. <laughs> I up that damn book and took care of mm-hmm. it. That's what I, that's what I feel happy. That's what I really feel happy. Oh yeah, I know that would have been interesting to maybe get into. Maybe a little bit more, but I guess it maybe it wasn't really necessary for the movie, but I think maybe it would have been good to have it in there. I, I don't know. I do. I think it would have made... Now, I, I did enjoy the movie, so don't get me wrong on that, but I think it would have made the movie a little bit better if you kind of got a, more of a backstory, only because they brought him up, and he was brought mm-hmm. up, what, two times? And both times he was brought up, it seemed like it was like in a powerful moment as far as when he's talking to his mother, I think she said something first, and then his the son Remy says something Mm -hmm. and she says, don't say this man's name in the house pretty much. And then when he brings up with his friend again, and it's like a good memory playing tag and then she plays tag with him. So it's like, Mm -hmm. maybe he could have been brought up just a little bit more, maybe like like a little five, 10 minute part in the movie, even if it's broken up to where, you know, this is what happened. This is whatever. Even if it's just to where we as the audience see it, but Remy never finds out about it. Yeah. Okay. Or maybe he, maybe he sees bits and pieces as a kid, but he doesn't really remember because his mother is always kind of saying, you know, something else happened. I don't know. Just something. Yeah. Or maybe, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe uh, he dies and he'll come back as a spirit to, like, haunt Remy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we got fun. options. <laughs> There's, yo, there's plenty of options <laughs> with this one, but it was good. It was re- it was really good though. Like I enjoyed it. I think Colin did an excellent job as far as directing. Absolutely, and I liked at the beginning seeing the backstories. I did like in the beginning how they kind of opened that with a little bit of a backstory, mm-hmm. at least with him and her. 
like him being a little kid and her kind of summoning this demon and whatnot. Um, I did like that because it did give us a better idea of like where these two characters are kind of coming from and where everything kind of started as opposed to just jumping into the story. You know, everybody's an adult and this weird stuff's happening and we're like, why is this happening? Because some stories don't do that. That's true. I agree with you there. And on top of that, when they're reading out of that, when his mother's reading out of that book or summoning a demon, when Remy's sitting in there with her and she's repeating it, she didn't like that at first. Yeah, I didn't get that either. Like, maybe, I don't know, maybe Remy, because, yeah, because, like, she stopped and he kept going and, like, she stopped him again, didn't she? Or, like... She pretty much, I think she got him out of the room eventually. Yeah, yeah. It's been a couple weeks since I watched it, but I remembered it because I liked it. So. Yeah. <laughs> but um, maybe he had, like, some kind of like strong powerful ability that he that she just didn't want him to have because she was so controlling that could be you know, i'm the one that takes care of everything you know i make sure that you're safe you know you don't need to worry about this like things you were saying before maybe yeah. that's why maybe he was super powerful and she just didn't want him to have any harness on that and being able to use it or something i don't know maybe it just died with him basically that makes sense that makes a lot of sense actually and that's I'm just gonna go with that. <laughs> that just makes sense to me. Sounds good. We'll take it. But yeah, this, like I said though, this movie was, it was honestly better than I expected because mm -hmm. there was no like, as far as like craziness or something like seeing somebody dead or go, like you didn't see anything crazy like that. You had there was a couple jumps in it, like when his mother pops up, mm -hmm. when his aunt sees her a couple times, and like little things like that. But it was nothing too crazy, nothing too extreme. But the story still kind of flowed. The story mm -hmm. flowed all this, and I enjoyed it. I'll definitely, I'm definitely gonna watch it again. And it is out on Amazon Prime, people. So you should go check it out yourselves. Yeah, because the day I thought that was funny too. Because literally the next morning, I want to say it was the next morning, maybe around noon, he texts me and he goes, "Oh, like the gods must have heard us," and he like sent me the link to it, and it had just popped up on Amazon. I was like, "Oh, fucking awesome!" <laughs> Same here. He sent me. He messaged me the very next day. Like, Here's the link. And share it all over the place. I was like, hell yeah, I'm definitely going to check this out. And I'm glad I did. Because the first time, when I had Colin on, I was I didn't have time to watch the whole movie. I was, like, watching it and doing a bunch of other things. So I really didn't have time to sit down and watch it until now. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad I really got to sit down and watch it. And it's definitely, it's definitely worth a watch. So people need to go there and watch it and give it a review because that helps a lot. Oh, yeah. So Absolutely. Interview. With independent movies and all that independent stuff, give them reviews. Even if you don't like it, just be honest. Don't be a don't bash things just to bash it though. But if you don't like it, say why. Right, exactly. Constructive criticism, something that we can go back and work with later. <laughs> yeah, like Nicholas Cage, you're a terrible. <laughs> I'm glad you noticed that. I like straight because I love oh, doing yeah. the music with the stories on the Facebook and the Instagram and shit because I love music. And I was like, you know what? Just for shits and giggles, I just like typed in the browse. I just put in Nicholas Cage and like. There was like over a fucking dozen songs. I was like, "Oh, this is gonna be fun." <laughs> I was dying. I, uh, I seen the story thing, and I was like, "What the hell?" Because I was like, "I know, I know." Every time you do a show or you have like updates with the podcast channel, you put a you know you put a story up there on mm -hmm. the Facebook thing. So I checked it, and I seen you know. Uh, horror star started and i see the nicholas cage i just started laughing like, <laughs> i think it's a different one on instagram because like i said there was like there was a shit tons of songs about nicholas cage i'm like for fucking what people for what that is garbage why are you singing about garbage <laughs> believe it or not he has fans <laughs> uh i guess there's something for everyone kind of like vegas <laughs> that's true <laughs> i haven't been to vegas but it's true. Oh, it's interesting. It's interesting. <laughs> I've heard. Take a lot of money. Shit ain't cheap. <laughs> you see this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> like 13 bucks for a... No, what did I pay? I got two margaritas on free, on the strip um, for $30. Ooh. And they were in like the Budweiser, like the, like the solo cups, but slightly smaller. Mm -hmm. That's two of those. Two of those for 30 bucks. You could have got a bottle and got nice by yourself and then just had a good time after. Oh, we take bottles now in our luggage and then, like, we'll fill up water bottles of, like, vodka 
or I'll take a soda bottle and I'll drink it about yay far down at like Coke or Dr. Pepper and then fill the rest up with like Jameson or some shit and just walk around the strip with my bottle of soda and whiskey. Smart. See, that's saving money. That's being It account. is. They're going to get my money one way or another, so I don't know why they're bitching about it. I'm oh, just trying yeah. to have a good time. <laughs> I, they're, they're, you're right. They're definitely going to get it. I'm like, look, if I'm going to get a nice buzz at the very least, I'm just going to bring my own shit. Yeah. <laughs> the pain, depending on what you get to drink, you're going to pay at least $30, if not more, to have two drinks to get a feel of buzz. And like, listen, I can spend $30 for one drink <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and be good. Yep. Take a couple of shots before you go down to the strip and then take the model with you. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you got to be careful. I remember taking about eight shots of 100 Proof Southern Comfort on this show with one of my friends. Oh. He was drinking beer. <laughs> I wasn't uh, and like the funny thing was is I think I told you this before but um he has a podcast called um oh shit <laughs> oh stories from a bar oh so, yeah that one so he'll go to local bars around here but like the you know the mom and pop type of bars and record with one of the owners or whoever there and then you know talk about the bar the bar's name and all that stuff everything in his show and so I was like, all right. So me and him were doing Zoom. We did uh, Killer Crimes from Outer Space. And I was just like, he was like, yo, you going to have a beer with me? I was like, well, I don't have beer, but I have this. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it was, I didn't, I don't think I was, I, I never rewatched the episode. It is out there on YouTube. I need to check it out one day. I don't think I got too bad on here, but I got sick after I was done recording. Like, I'm, oh. glad, I'm glad I didn't have to like stop to throw up as I'm recording. That would have. As funny and as that would have been, that would have sucked. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, funny by I make it to like, a, I have a garbage can up here somewhere, so I make it to the garbage can. If it gets on all over this stuff, that's not funny at all. Oh, no, no. You're going to be hating yourself. <laughs> Hell yeah. And hating something, comfort, which is my favorite drink. Oh, man. Oh. That would have been bad. Uh. I learned my lesson, though. I should eat. I should definitely eat first. Before I start or eating. snack on little things as you go. <laughs> That too, but I didn't like. Yeah. I didn't eat at all. I didn't eat dinner usually. But when, I'm, when I know I'm about to have a drink, especially something strong, if it's beer or something, I figure it something strong like that. I'll make sure I at least eat and then have a drink. That day, nope. I ate after, and that's like uh, my stomach was like, "You know better than this, stupid." <laughs> <laughs> what were you thinking? I wasn't. I had fun. That's good though. As long as you had fun, it's good memories. I hate waking up drunk, though. Waking up with the screens, I'm just like, son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. Isn't that a trip every time? It's like, what the fuck, man? I thought I just, I thought I went to sleep to sleep this off. <laughs> Woke up, still feeling the spins. And you're not even like the, the cool feeling, like when you get a buzz when you're drinking. It's just all the shittiness of the spins, feeling tired. I think that next morning, I just came, I got up at like six o'clock in the morning, couldn't fall back to sleep, came downstairs and just laid on the couch, had a big ass cup of water and watched TV. And eventually fell asleep, I think. I oh, <laughs> feel old. I know, right? It's when you're in your twenties, you can like do that and bounce back the next day and just like go to work, no fucking problem. Do it or do it again <laughs> the weekend. Yeah, I'm gonna do this again, but now <laughs> hey, if I do that, fuck it, I'm out for at least a day or two. Right? <laughs> Shit. Uh, but yeah, this movie. <laughs> movie. This was a good movie. This was a good movie, and I do recommend it. Um, to everybody, you know, this weekend I may just post it again. Um, post the link again for it. I should do. I yeah. actually, I want to see his other ones too. I know he has a slasher one. And I yeah, I haven't had a chance to watch the other ones yet either. Me either, but they're all they're all on um, Prime, I believe. I think, I think I you're right. Three or four on Prime. So I told him. Actually, I did. I told him that we were gonna watch them. and We were gonna review them. Just because we both interviewed him, I'm like shit, why not? And he's a cool guy. Yeah. And he really appreciates it, which is awesome. Yeah, and he, he genuinely appreciates it. You know what I mean? Like, it's very sincere when he talks to you. It's not like, oh, yeah, thanks. Thanks. Look at this, too. Take that, too. Oh, aren't you so privileged? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I am. Thanks. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> Definitely fire and shot at somebody who I have no idea. And if I did, I wouldn't say. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, people do do that. It's like, hey, yeah. Just, here, why don't you do this one too? And it's like, okay, well, I'll get to it when I can. I have other shows, you know, other episodes I have to do, not just your stuff. 
But now, Colin, you're cool. We're definitely going to do your movies. Don't worry. Hell about yeah. It. Post the cool. shit out of this. Hell yeah. Uh, what would you rate this movie, though? From a negative 10. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this. To a positive 10. And I'll say, how many of Remy's demons would you give this movie? No. Scratch that. How many purple lights would you give this movie? How many purple lights would I give this movie? From a negative 10 to a positive 10. Um, you know what? I would honestly give this like a real solid, solid eight. Nice. I would give it a solid eight lights. Nice. I'm going to give it a solid seven. I really did enjoy it. I had a great time with it. The fire. <laughs> that... I know that fire killed you. <laughs> you know what it is? Because like, I feel... And again, I don't know anything about movies and stuff, but fire is just one of those things I feel like it has to look... Fire and water and blood are like the three things that have to look good in the movie for me. Everything else doesn't matter. I really don't care about anything else to to an extent. To right. An extent, I mean, but fire, blood, and water are just important. Uh, I don't know if they're elements. I don't think blood's an element. Yeah, we can say element. <laughs> okay, elements. That just They just have to look right for me. And when they look even a little off... Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm a little bothered by it. I'm just like, ah, oh, man. Because it's just, I'm sure it's a lot tougher than in my mind. I'm sure it's a hell of a lot harder. Than, I know it's a lot harder than that. But it just, it was just one of those things. Other than that, really enjoyed the movie. Highly recommend it. It's served already approved. And I would definitely watch it again. I would definitely watch it again. I can't say how soon, though. I don't know if it's something I'd go back to, like, right away. And that's not saying it's a bad movie. There's just... Certain movies I do enjoy, I just can't go back to them and say, like, in two weeks. Right. Whatever. It might be a few months or whatever. If the wife wants to sit down and watch it one day, I'll watch it with her. Mm -hmm. Or a friend or whatever. But I do highly recommend it. I do feel like everybody should go out there and watch it and review it. Give it a rating on Amazon. And that's what I got to say about this. Yeah. About Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, watch it and then watch the other ones. And like you said earlier, you know, give them a rating, whether it's – Good or bad, but don't bash them to, to be a jerk. You know, make it at least constructive criticism if there's something about it you didn't really like. Because so, it does. It helps all of us independent artists that are doing our own thing out there. So. It, really it really, really freaking does. Like, as far as, I'll say as far as people, everybody who watches YouTube, you know, you watch all them damn YouTube videos, you give it a like, then you mm -hmm. see lots of the same shit. It's yeah. I'll just do, I don't even care if you don't like my, if you don't like my, just lie to me, just hit the like. Hit the like. <laughs> Uh, they like that you tried. I oh, yeah, tried. <laughs> even, I would say even, look at this. You could like it. You could share it. You could tell your friends, this is the worst podcast I've ever heard in my life. You should check this out. Cool. I'm cool with that, too. I don't care. Just You can leave negative comments. I don't care about any of that. It's, just get me up there in the statistics. <laughs> That's all we really care about. I know. What do they say? It's uh, like bad publicity is better than no publicity? Mm -hmm. Bad well, publicity is good publicity. Yeah. To an extent. To an extent. To an, yeah, some, to an extent. For some pretty rotten shit, and that's not some publicity you want. Our yeah, that's is, true. He pees on Twitter. <laughs> you don't want to be known for the pisser. I don't care. <laughs> you don't want to be that guy at the party. <laughs> no. And it'd be, it'd be even worse because it's going to be a children's birthday party. So you oh, yikes. <laughs> Who invited this asshole? <laughs> he pisses on everyone. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> but, yeah, so... <laughs> Definitely like our stuff and definitely rate our stuff. And you gotta listen to Any Last Words podcast because it's freaking awesome. It's on Facebook, YouTube, and where else are you? Instaham. There you go. And yeah, that's about it. I tried the whole Twitch thing, but I don't think I can get into that too much. So, mm. that see for me, that's more for wait for gaming. You were trying it, right? But yeah, I couldn't get it. I couldn't figure it out. So I was just like, oh, okay. Got you got to try it again. I only say that because you're an entertaining person, and I know if people just hear you gaming, and I know you're going to be swearing and yelling. Which is I was going to say, I don't know how many people want to see me gaming. I'm like, motherfucker, like throwing shit. Which is My cat's funny. running around. <laughs> That's always funny to me, and I know people will be entertained by that, so I think you should just give it another shot. You got to YouTube it, though, figure it out. I got to learn some more stuff with it, too, myself. Yeah. Which I haven't done it in like a month or more. I gotta, I gotta get back on there. <laughs> but yeah, um, if there's any plugs you want to do, you could do that now. Um, y'all should check out Sir Sturdy. Oh wait, wrong show. That's <laughs> good. Um, uh, like, share, 
or at least watch or listen to five minutes of any last words on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram. Um, and that's about it, I guess. Oh. Yes, <laughs> I don't like talking that. about myself too much. I know. Self-promoting. I love it. I love talking about myself. That's why I bring people on my show to talk about them. <laughs> so I'm like, I just show up. Good point. Good point. <laughs> yeah. Go check out Any Last Words podcast. She does two live shows, Mondays and Wednesdays at 8 o'clock California time. I don't know what the hell that is. West Coast time. <laughs> 11 o'clock East Coast time. The rest of the ones, it's in between those. <laughs> 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 I, don't, I don't know every time zone. I get thrown off by stuff way too much. I know East. I know West. Yep. You're on one end. I'm on the, one, the other end. That's all that matters. <laughs> yep. It just, just drop it back an hour, everybody. You know? Yeah. An hour, two hours, boom, and then three when you get over here. And if you're in another country, I, I'm sorry, I cannot help you. I don't know. Can't help you. <laughs> but when you can ask words pop up on your mentions on YouTube and on uh, Facebook, go give it a listen. You might see me on there sometime. You might not. <laughs> <laughs> you will be tonight because a little after we get done with this, take a quick break and then come back, and you're going to be on my show, sir. Because the first one, I'm so I'm still so burnt about that first one. I am because I was like, "What do you mean you only keep it for seven fucking days?" That was two weeks ago. I did this. What? You know, I just sorry. Go ahead. Oh no, go ahead and finish. No, I was gonna say like because I just like freed up. You know, I got everybody out of the way, and I was like, "Okay, cool. Now we got yours. We're gonna put it in there." And then it was like, "Oh, it's been deleted. We only hold it for seven days." I'm like, "What?" And I like, I think I even sent it to you. I was like, "Mother." Yep. Like I was so I was so burnt because that was such. I really enjoyed that entire show. It was so great. It was so fun and so funny, and I wanted everybody to see it, and it was yep. fuck you technology. <laughs> it, the, the, what makes it funnier is, so we did, we're, gonna, we're doing a double header tonight. We did one the other night, and in the middle of our last episode on this show, we were towards the end. It just stopped. Like That's I right. Remember, I was like, fuck. That's right. And I forgot. Not only that, but like, we did so I was like okay cool whatever we did your show and we explained everything that happened yeah. the show as far as the technical difficulties which was hilarious <laughs> now, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get that episode back or not and then ended up being able, look at this this is just ridiculous this, that's, that, it was just funny how it happened it was fucking hilarious that's just the luck isn't it because <laughs> we even said we might have to redo the episode on your episode and explain a bunch of stuff yeah and it just went bloop the other way <laughs> 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 it's all irrelevant now. Yeah, it's all good though. <laughs> but I will say thank you for coming on again. I thank you for having me on again. Anytime. And I guess we got like at least three more movies to knock out, two or three more movies for now. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens next. But uh, yes, thank you for having me on or for coming on. Wow. <laughs> While my That's your line later. Too soon. <laughs> right. You're right. For all my listeners, check me out. On YouTube, Horror Resource 30, Twitch, Horror underscore with underscore sir, or, no, no, wow. Horror underscore with underscore sir underscore 30. I wish I could just be Horror Resource 30, but I hate the different rules with these damn networks. I know. It confuses me sometimes. Uh, Facebook, I have a Facebook group, Horror Resource 30. Feel free to share anything and everything horror related, including your own podcast, movies. As long as it's horror related, I don't care. If it's not horror related, I'm going to delete it. I'm not even sorry for that. I'm not even <laughs> the rules are rules, fuckers. <laughs> and you can share your podcast stuff in there too as well. Thank you. Um, I have a Horror Source 30 Facebook page that is strictly for the podcast. This is where when I share my episodes out, I'm sharing it strictly to that page. And you can go there to check it out. And some cool updates whenever I have them. And I don't know when that's going to be. <laughs> but hopefully soon. I doubt it. Probably sometime next year. <laughs> And if you ever want to be on an episode with me, shoot me an email, horrorwithsert.sturdy at gmail.com, and we'll review a movie, or if you are a fellow podcaster or whatever, we'll talk about your horror projects is what I'm getting at. Again, that's horrorwithsert.sturdy at gmail.com. Thank you for listening, and as always, I'll see you in your nightmare.